joys of classic car ownership. Hello, it's Alex. And today I'm gonna to be having a look at Mr. Jenkins. Now I don't know about you, but I hate jacking up P6s. You can't jack on the sill unless you've got the thing to go in the tube. My tubes don't line up with the outer sill, so you end up damaging the outer sill. And plus I wouldn't really trust the tubes, even though I know they're solid. I still don't like the idea of it. You can't jack on the Dion tube. You can jack on the where the tow bar mounts on, onto that random block under the back. But again, how safe is it? So at the back, I like to try and get onto one of the Dion elbows if I'm just jacking up one side at a time. So I've got my jack under here now. So it's not ideal, but I think that's the safest place to jack on the back of a P6. So what am I doing today? Don't actually know, to be fair. <laughs> now most of you, every year, takes your car to be poked and prodded around by somebody who gets paid more than you. Well, with the classic cars, they're MOT exempt, so you haven't got to go and have a, someone prodding around your car anymore. You can be the prodder. So, every now and then, it depends how much I use the car. I like to do it once a year. Sometimes it's every two years because I might not use the car for a year like with lockdown etc even though to me there's absolutely nothing wrong with this car it drives perfectly sounds great no knocks horrible bangs anything but it's nice just to get the wheels off have a look round, have a good poke have a good wobble and uh, just make sure everything's in order really you can have a good look at my rust now I'm still waiting for the new wings I don't know how long I'll be waiting for those to be done. So to get my hubcaps off, <laughs> you have to take off the valve caps because they're so big, they don't fit through the uh, hubcap. Now I'm not gonna lie, my wheels are disgusting. They are rusty, purple in places and black in places and you know what I don't actually care <laughs> you know why because the hubcap covers 99% of the wheel so it doesn't really matter what it looks like but yeah I've just never bothered I, I put hammerite purple around the edges once about 10 years ago and since then I've, I've done nothing with the wheels the only thing I do is just check the holes where the wheel nuts go on to because if they get elongated you risk the wheel coming off. So I, I just check and make sure they're not becoming egg shaped rather than round. But that looks good to me. Now my back end, my back end, <laughs> Mr Jenkins back end has been rebuilt years ago so it should all be good we like to have a little wobble to get the bar underneath and see if there's any play in the wheel bearings no knocking no movement at all which is what you want you've got your jack underneath and you want to take the wheel off and start poking around yeah well, before you start doing that, I would put an axle stand out. So I've put a board over my gravel, because you don't want the axle stand down on the gravel. And I've just lent it up against this tow bar setup. And then what I did was I let the pressure off the jack, so it then sat down on that. 
and then I jacked it again just a little bit just to make sure the wheel is off the ground which it is just about but it's now supported by the axle stand and the jack this wheel brace is rubbish <laughs> yes I keep meaning to invest in a nice one it's rubbish because it's an angle really you want the bar to be straight like that but these stupid bars from Halfords come bent pre-bent and I keep meaning to buy one my torque wrench is straight but it's not advisable to use a torque wrench for undoing things so we'll just use this to crack the wheel nuts off all the wheel bolts or wheel nuts shall I say all the wheel nuts are off but you might find the wheel might not come off because of the wing although my wing looks like it's about to fall off let's have a go I oh, know we can do it we can do it nope oh, oh, oh. Not quite, so what I do now is just bring the jack up a little bit. That's bad, isn't it? There we go. Now what I do with that is I lie it under the car. Excuse me, you're in the way. Lie that under the car because then if the car does fall off the jack and the axle stand it will land on the wheel not ideal but it's better than it landing on you once again me being safety conscious even though we've got three three supports here i still would try and avoid putting your limbs underneath yeah so don't sit there like that i wouldn't do limit what you stick under there um, so yeah, all I want to look at really is sort of just having a look at these bolts, make sure all these are looking all right. They look tight, they haven't come off, you know. <laughs> the brakes are all the way over there. Um, I know my discs are ancient, but they're still, they're still all right. So there's quite a nasty score in that one, actually. So stone's got trapped in the pads or something. But the pads are still chunky, if you can see them over there. So we haven't got to worry about pads. And it doesn't look too bad in here, to be fair. Mm, it says, it looks like we've got a bit of rust here. But it's only surface rust by the looks of it. This is the back of the boot floor. So with this now, you can get a wire brush on that. Some rust killer. And a bit of paint to protect it. And then some underseal. There's a dodgy, dodgy looking bit there, but I think that's okay. It's solid. A bit with the... Uh, suspension mount rubber bump stop there looks a bit crusty doesn't it just needs a little bit of TLC to be fair I'll probably look at this a bit there, look. yeah I'll look at this that's nasty when I have the wing off I'll be able to see that better uh, mental note on that one But yeah, the suspension's all new, everything, shocks, springs, these have been powder coated and strengthened. Nice new rubber, new nuts and bolts, new bearings, new UJs. So I, I know all the suspension's pretty damn good. It's just making sure that everything is in place try and check for any movement in the UJs 
So just sort of stick that in and have a little wiggle around. There's absolutely no movement there. Grab hold of it with both hands and give it a good wiggle because if that starts knocking, shaking, then you've got a problem. Right, I've just had a good old scrape at this. Thankfully, it's solid. There's no holes, thank God. Now, this is, I think you call it a tie rod bar. It is part of your suspension. It's attached to the car on this little bit of metal here. And what's above that? The rust. If that got any worse and turned into a hole, you risk this breaking away from the suspension. Now I can tell you, now, with the wheel on, you can't see that at all. And what does the MOT tester not do? He does not remove the wheels from the car. So the MOT would not have shown this up. think to yourself I wish I didn't start this <laughs> I didn't realize how bad it was all the under seal that was there is all old and it's just flaking off and underneath well wow, it's a horror story and that's not even the start of it I don't think Oh, Mr. Jenkins, you are poorly. At least the suspension's good. I'm getting a right old mess here. mud. Now look at you. Your lens is all dusty. <laughs> this has turned into a right crock of sh I've renamed the car. It is now called the Titanic. Uh, <laughs> for obvious reasons. I mean, I did find a little bit of blue, a little bit of non-rusty blue. But I think I've inhaled more of the car than I've uh, found non-rusty. <laughs> Joys of classic car ownership. That's it. I'm selling it. I'm gonna go and buy a... I don't know. There aren't any decent cars on the market. <laughs> right, I finished crying to myself now. And I had to really stop and think about how far do I go <laughs> and what to do first. Because the one thing I don't like, I don't like taking a car off the road if I can help it. You know, I could easily park this up now at the back of the driveway, take the wing off and strip the whole thing back. And then it'll just be off the road for ages in between work and stuff. And I've had a good old dig around and had a, had a good look. And yes, there's lots of little holes that need welding up. Well, the welding can't be done here, that has to be done at Berrien Classics because that's where the welder is and I mean he could bring the welder home but it'd probably be better to have it on the ramp. I don't really want to take the wing off until my new wing's ready because otherwise I've got to take the old wing off and put the old wing back on. Um, 
winter's pretty much gone now so if I make sure I don't use him in the wet for now I think what I'll do now is I'll use some rust killer on all of the rust that I've wire brushed today um, and any bits that don't need welding I will paint and protect and just leave the holy parts bare because they'll have to be cut out and Lyndon won't want to be cutting out painted stuff it um, makes it harder to weld onto painted surfaces <sighs> right I shall show you how bad the rust is so here we are I've decided to stop at this line here I'm not going to go any further up here that can wait for another day so we have a hole here which I think goes into the back of the back seat it's very annoying that's got to be cut out so the seat's got to come out uh, we got a hole here I don't know where that goes I think that's just into the like chassis then we got holes here 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 not really sure where they go to be honest I can't find them I think it might be behind the fuel tank which is a bit annoying um, this is all sort of gone a bit nasty here but there's no holes so I'm just going to treat them with rust killer for now coat them back up with under seal we've got a little hole here which I've seen goes into the boot along with this hole here oh there's a lot of holes isn't there oh but all this piece of chassis I think you'll call that is solid I've been around hitting it with a hammer so speaking of hammers I'm going to use this stuff built hammer it's the same as the hammerite crust stuff that I use so we've got the stuff here in the ice cube tray and um, yeah I'm going to brush it on and try and keep the rust at bay otherwise it all ends up on the floor like this it's going to take me a long time with this little tiny brush still at least it, it means I'll be more thorough getting up into all the little crevices I'll see you in a few days time <laughs> Yeah. But the neighbours are looking thinking, bloody hell, what a bag of nails. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to watch this. I wish I didn't have to. <laughs> I did clean the suspension up a little bit though. I got a fluffy pillow out to rest my head <laughs> so I could have a lie down. Die, evil rust. You won't beat me. You leave my Mr. Jenkins alone. This ship will not sink. It's unsinkable. So this is the colour it goes. It goes like a black sort of colour, a very really dark orange. When it's uh, converted the rust. So that's still wet up there. That's the last bit we did. Uh, that bit there that looks orange, that's actually insulation from the inside coming through. Bit of a patchwork quilt there, isn't it? Poor old Mr. Jenkins. He's been around the block a bit, you know? Hmm. We'll get there. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <sighs> I take it all back. 
Take your car to the MOT station. <laughs> Get it MOT'd. <laughs> Don't look at it yourself because it's depressing. Um, yeah, so this rust I found, the MOT tester would not have found. Um, is that a good thing? No. It's a good thing I found it because if it got any worse, oof, well, it would have rendered Mr. Jenkins irreparable, I think. But at least now I've found the holes and the rust. I've treated the rust with the rust killer. Um, and then the holes, well, they'll have to be welded up another day. But at least I know they're there and they're clean. I'm going to put some paint over them to hopefully stop the holes getting any worse over the next few weeks because there's no way I'm going to be able to get it welded yet. Yeah, I'll let you see it now. It's all treated in the rust department. And here we are, the patchwork quilt. It's been treated. Uh, there's a hole there. That's the insulation from inside. But all this is treated so that can be painted and over there that's just drying that's the last bit I did and then I say I didn't want to go any any further up really because it's too hard to get to and it was just going all in my face <laughs> so I'll wait till the wings off to get to all that uh, yeah I'm happy with that I'm happy it's improved I was very unhappy to begin with and thought to myself why and this is only one corner of the car. Gosh. I haven't even checked the wheel bearings on the other side. I'm, I'm not doing it. Not today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.